What's up, Graveyard Shift family? What's up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? What up, Kay? Uh-oh. Where the chat not moving? Okay, there we go. There we go. We in it. We in it to win it. We in it to win it. What up, Ronnie? What up, Lazaria? David Cruz, Stacy Johnson. What up, Carol? What up, Janetta? Janelle, Debbie, Becky, McAllen. What up? What up? Yvette, Robin, Clatisha, Tom Foolery. There you are. There go Brentwood. What up, Brentwood? Mitzi, Lauren, Bobby, Tracy, Precious, Leslie, Connie, Tara, <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> What up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Y'all, I'm in such a great mood. I'm tired because I've been traveling. I've been in Dallas. It was my best friend's birthday party. Had to go kick it with him. Me and Stacy have been kicking it, traveling, hanging out, y'all. We are tired. But today, we did our first PTO, y'all. A gentleman emailed us and said that he was interested in trying to connect with his best friend from high school that passed away 25 years ago. He had never done a spirit box session before. He's been a fan of the graveyard shift for the past year. Uh, he knew nothing about like Ghost Brothers or none of that in the past. So he just really stumbled across us on YouTube. But uh, I met him at the grave of his best friend and we did a spirit box session. I'm excited for y'all to see it, y'all. These sessions are interesting. These sessions are interesting because I don't know anything about the people that we're reaching out to. Like, I'm just there facilitating the interaction with you guys. So he was asking questions that, like, I had no idea what the answers could be. And, like, he was getting responses. Very, very accurate responses. It's crazy, y'all. This is crazy. We finna start doing more of these. Howdy, fam. Fearless leader clocked in from Nevada. What up, Jameis? Y'all, so I'm gonna probably post that session sometime this week. Sometime this week. But he was a good guy. A, go a guy named Roy Austin. Roy, if you're watching this, buddy, I appreciate you being vulnerable with us today and telling us your story and allowing us to reach out to your friend, man. It was cool, it was cool. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, or as much as I did. And I hope y'all enjoyed as much as we did. It's a beautiful day here in Atlanta, Georgia family. There's people, there's people here with us. I wanted to check in with y'all, see what y'all was doing today. San Angelo? Joe, you're right. The sun is like directly in my face. <laughs> I need my uh I need my my eclipse glasses. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some communication going, y'all. To all the spirits that are resting here, it is your boy Daylin. I am back. I am back. I have been gone for a few days, but I am glad to be back. Is there anyone here that would like to come through and speak to me? You said you're sad? Who's sad? Next. 
Can you tell me your name? I need y'all to pay attention. I need y'all to listen, y'all. I need y'all to listen. I'm outside in the elements. <laughs> and for some reason, the street over here is very loud. So I need for y'all to pay attention and listen to the box and see if y'all get some names going. Richard, you in North Pole, Alaska? It's the North Pole in Alaska. Y'all, when I, can I tell y'all something real quick before we get back to shifting? When I, ha I had to go meet up with, uh, with Roy, before I, this was our first PTO. It was my first time meeting up with the shifters, but I had to protect myself. So y'all know who came with me. Who can guess in the comment section? who I had to bring with me. <laughs> who do y'all think I had to bring to this session with me to meet Roy? Just because you got, you darn right, y'all. I brought Pokey. <laughs> y'all know I brought Pokey. <laughs> Anybody that didn't say Pokey is not a avid graveyard shifter. Roy didn't even know I had it on me. <laughs> Roy didn't know I had it on me. Look, I wore my cargoes. I wore my cargoes and I had it in my cargo pocket just in case Roy got a little shifty. <laughs> and I practiced. I practiced before I got here. I was like this. I was like, all right, I'm going to sit on this side just in case Roy get a little shifty. And I got to reach in there real quick. I got to reach in there real quick. <sighs> My, my, my draw, my draw, my draw to snap ratio ain't, ain't, I'm not too quick yet. <laughs> I've been practicing. I've been practicing. I need to practice a little bit more. I need my draw to snap ratio to be a lot faster. I need to be a lot faster, but y'all, hey, listen, just know if I come out to meet you, I'm strapped. I am strapped. Y'all, again, this might be the best gift a graveyard shifter has ever given me. They dead daddy's knife. <laughs> I will protect your dead daddy's knife with my life. Pokey, listen, y'all, they gonna bury me with Pokey. Or y'all think I should leave Pokey? I'm gonna leave Pokey to Axel. <laughs> Pokey gotta stay on Earth. <laughs> I'm going to leave Pokey to Axel in my wheel just in case her or my grandbabies got to get shifty. Now, what are we talking about? Carrie says, I need a lot more practice in a spring assistant. Carrie, listen, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I do need a lot more practice and I need one where I ain't got to press the button. That's what slow me down. That's what slows my, my, my draw to snap ratio. Cause I got to pull it. That's, that's what's slowing me down. If Roy would have rushed me, I might not have got to him fast enough with it. <laughs> cause, cause I got to use two hands. I need one. I need one that you press the button. What's that called? What is that called? Y'all when you press the button, and it shoot out like that. That's the type of knife I need. <laughs> John Pratt, can you get a hold of Ann Pratt? That's my mother. Listen, you gotta send a switchblade. That's what I need, guys. I need a switch. Hey, y'all, Pokey needs a cousin. Pokey need a girlfriend, y'all. Pokey needs a girlfriend. Take Pokey in case we accidentally end up below. <laughs> Say, Melanie, listen, listen. <laughs> if God sees fit in his heart not to let us through them pearly gates, don't worry, y'all. Your fearless shift leader gonna be, I'm gonna be poking them. I'm gonna be poking everybody with, we gonna be, we gonna be some pokers all below. Y'all stop egging me, y'all. Y'all stop egging me, y'all. Hey, how you doing? See? See people, see people. Let me go ahead and put po let me put Pokey on the table. Let me put Pokey on the nightstand. People over here acting funny already. 
They drove by, kind of mean mugged your boy a little bit, rolled the window down. Y'all seen that, uh, y'all seen the movie Baby Boy when Snoop Dogg rolled up on uh, Tyrese and rolled the window down halfway and looked at him? That's how they just did me just now. If this was the 90s, I would have thought it was going to be a drive-by. But don't worry, Pokey is on the hood of the car, baby. <laughs> Pokey is on the hood. Now, what we talking about? What we talking about, y'all? It's real active over here today. It's real active. How do we know when we're going live daily? We don't, y'all. I never know when I'm going live. That's the beauty of me going live. I just be popping on. I don't have no set schedule. I should set a schedule where I go live, but it just depends on a lot of stuff. I usually tend to go live when I don't have a shift to post, <laughs> if you haven't noticed that. <laughs> If I have not edited a video, most likely I will go live. Most likely I will go live. Spirits that are here resting, I do have a question for you. Does a lot of shady stuff go on in this cemetery? Young stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have. So at nighttime, do people come here and do weird stuff? No. Say no. Okay. Do y'all watch over the cemetery? Has anyone ever came here with bad intentions? Nah. Is it? I don't think so either, though. I don't think so. Hey, how y'all doing? That was a couple. That was a guy and a lady. They just drove by and waved. Can't trust them either, though. Can't trust them either. Can't trust them either, y'all. Lots of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Mia, thank you for coming back. Yeah, we're back, y'all. We're back. We're shifting away. Thursday, I'm headed to Minnesota with Dave Schrader. Dave has agreed to come on some shifts with us, y'all. So I'm gonna have some videos with Dave, and I'm trying to get an investigation video with Dave Schrader this weekend. So. Be looking out for some collaborations this weekend, family, for sure. Everybody's suspect out here. To be honest, I am a suspect too, because I am armed and dangerous, y'all. <laughs> so they have the right to give me the side eye too. But my protection is for protection. That's it. And opening letters, really more so opening letters. That's pretty much what I use it for, guys. <laughs> I ain't been tested yet. I ain't been tested yet. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all better not play with me. <laughs> when we when I come do my PTOs, y'all better not play with me. Somebody said, you right, Lazaria. I need a bulletproof vest. I need a shank vest. I need a shank vest. Terry, you better be scared, Terry. I've been practicing. I've been practicing. I have been practicing. Somebody said, don't hurt yourself. You're right. Because I damn near, I, I almost cut my finger yesterday. <laughs> I whipped it out too fast and I almost cut my finger yesterday. <laughs> you know? It's a lot of responsibility, guys. With that much power, with that much power in your hand comes a lot of responsibility. All right. Spirits, spirits, spirits. What do you want to talk about? Now I've heard help twice. 
Is there someone here that needs help? I do. Can you tell me your name? Okay, let me see if someone's here to help you. Are any of our guides here? She wanted. Say Shauna. Shauna, are you here? Is Mary Ellen here? Something about family. Is Rosemary here? So I said Walter's here. Been there. You guys have been real quiet lately. Why is that? Do you guys take a break too? Good Good help. Somebody says shut up. That's what I said, Robin. Thank you. It sounds like they on vacation. It's, it, it always interests me when the spirits seem to be quiet. Like today, it seems to be a quiet day here. I might get up early in the morning. Daylin, can you put the mailing address in the YouTube bio? Yes, yep, Chris, I got you. Uh, Chris, Chris, I got you. I will put the mailing address in the YouTube bio, but can we put it in the comment section right now? Yeah, the city looks beautiful, right? Look at the view. Look at that view. Let's see. Let me show y'all the view. Let me show y'all the view. That's downtown Atlanta. What up, Bruce? All right, I just picked my mailing address. Y'all, anyone that sent me some packages, they're at the post office. I got to go get them. I got to go get them. And all my admins, I sent y'all shirts. Y'all shirts got sent out the other day. Uh, Tina, you said hoping you respond to your email soon before you come to Michigan. Tina, has uh, Chaz or anyone responded to your email? If not, can you please resend it and we will respond to you ASAP. Yes, hey y'all, when y'all send me mail, please remember to address the mail to me, to Dalen Spratt. Do not put the graveyard shift on there. I got a personal mailbox and not a business mailbox. And they told me next time somebody put the graveyard shift on there, they gonna get me. <laughs> so y'all look out for your boy. Put Dalen Spratt on there. It's funny, cause I have a personal PO box. And when it was my birthday, I went and there were so many cards and packages. And they was like, thanks, some people must really love you. And I was like, they do. And I love them too. Guys, y'all are the best family ever. You know what was cool about today's PTO shift? The guy, Roy, he met this guy in high school in the 80s. And they started a band together. And he was like, one way for me to know that it's him, let me ask him the name of our high school band. Y'all, when I tell you the spirit box then says the actual name of the high school band, and it ain't nothing like, like, help me <laughs> or stop. 
it's like a name of a band from the 80s <laughs> and yeah crazy so like if you don't believe this stuff like how do you explain that like how do you explain that how do you explain that i'll tell you i'm gonna tell y'all this little part y'all can watch the shift later but the name of this man's high school band was defiance they were called the defiance and that and roy sat there and asked he was like danny what was the name of our high school band and literally the box said defiance me and roy looked at each other at the same time like what the roy was tripping out and this was his first time ever doing it <laughs> he and like i wanted to get his honest opinion uh oh here come a car y'all come a car here come a car here come a car what's up y'all but yeah that was crazy that was crazy and, and that was and what's cool about roy he's never had a paranormal experience he's never had any run-ins with spirits he just says that he just likes watching spirit box sessions on youtube and he watches so many I just fell into his algorithm. That's how he started watching us. Uh, but he's never done it before. He's never been out on a session. Nothing. He didn't know what to expect. But yeah, it's cool. I like these. We're going to start doing a lot of these, these me coming to y'all. I want to do a lot of those this year. So if you want me to come out and help you facilitate talking to your loved one, send us an email at thegraveyardshifttv at gmail.com. Thegraveyardshifttv at gmail.com. Uh, Dennis, I would like to buy a t-shirt. Can anybody give me the address? Dennis, they're on our website, but the thing is we only sell t-shirts once a quarter. So once every three months, we sell t-shirts just because it's a lot. And I try to like, you know, not be <laughs> mailing t-shirts all day. <laughs> but no, yeah, we do it once a month. And it kind of, I mean, once every three months. And it kind of gives us something to look out for, something for us to be excited about. There's always a new design coming every three months. So if you've missed any shirt, we always resell all the shirts that came out during the year. But I am about to link up with this company that uh, two of our designs, the Future Ghost and the Spirit Need Love 2, I'm going to link up with them and they're going to put that design on other things so you guys can have that. And I keep that open year round. So we're going to put it on hats, hoodies, sweatshirts, V-necks, cups. All of that stuff, because y'all been asking for stuff other than crew neck t-shirts. So those two designs, we're going to put on other things so you guys can get it if you want to. And that'll be open year round. But we will still do our, our drops every three months like we always do. So that's what we're, that's what we're going to do with the Graveyard Shift store, y'all. All right. Y'all, I'm telling y'all now, I need y'all to hold me accountable. Ooh. Yep, hold me accountable. I am trying to make a shifter meetup in October in New Orleans. That's what I'm working on. I've never put together an event in my life. <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm really trying. So if I can pull this off in the next couple of weeks, I want to give y'all like five months to plan to come to New Orleans. Everybody ain't got to come, y'all. I understand. That's a big ask. But if you just want to come kick it in New Orleans and do some ghostly stuff with your boy, I'm trying to plan out a weekend, probably like the first weekend in October in New Orleans. Nothing is in stone. Nothing is in planned. This is an idea that dropped in my head the, like two days ago. And I'm just putting it out into the atmosphere because I feel like if I put it out there, I got to make it happen. <laughs> If we can, man, listen, if we can get 30 people to come kicking in New Orleans, this is going to be the first one. I want us to have a yearly meet and greet. And I want it to get bigger and bigger every year to one year. It's like a big festival, like the Graveyard Fest. <laughs> like I want it to get that big one day. But right now we start intimate. So this be a part of the inaugural Graveyard Fest, y'all. So I'm thinking, Leslie, I'm in New Orleans. Glad you're coming here. 
Yes, Leslie, I feel like New Orleans is one of the most haunted places in the country. A lot of people haven't been to New Orleans and it gives people a reason to. So I'm gonna link up with some, with some companies, some tour guides. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a couple of places for us to investigate. And I wanna get some cemetery tours, maybe get into, get into some cemeteries that we most likely normally couldn't get into. Uh, maybe do some spirit box sessions live. I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna put it together. So October, New Orleans, please hold me accountable, y'all. Please, please, please. Hold me accountable so much that I get mad and tell y'all to stop asking me about it. <laughs> That's the type of action I need from y'all. Yeah, because I really want to do this. I really want to do this. And then maybe next year we'll bring in more like, you know, ghost people like from TV shows, so y'all can meet them. Let's start this together. This is gonna be the first one. Right, hopefully the weather's nice. Hopefully the weather's nice that weekend. And look, if you can't make it this year, do not trip. Do not trip. We're gonna do this every year. Every year, every year. That's the goal from the Graveyard Shift family in front of 630 people, that is the goal. For us to have a yearly event that gets bigger and bigger every year. Spirits, how do you feel about that? I think. They say like it. Do you feel like we should do a yearly meet and greet? She said, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, closer to Halloween is gonna be expensive, y'all. So maybe like, I'm gonna try to see when's the cheapest to travel. So maybe it's like the first week of October, or maybe it's like the end of September, somewhere in within those weeks. But it won't be Halloween. It won't be Halloween weekend. It won't be Halloween weekend. We're gonna have our own special weekend to kick it. Okay, Halloween's your birthday, Jess Redding. We gotta come on out. No, Kim, I'm coming to New York. So my plan is to do events across the country that people can always come out to. Like I still wanna do like a tour, pick big cities, come out, do meet and greets. We hang out, we shift. But I just wanna do one yearly meetup where we all come together in a city. Maybe it's always in New Orleans or maybe we switch it up every year. But I just think it'll be cool for us to kind of like add a little bit of camaraderie and travel to the group. Oh, patches. We, we Ghost of the Roasted, we dropped three videos, me and my wife, a week. Ghost of the Roasted, we dropped three a week. Three a week. Kimmy, I would love to come to Northern California. All of that's on the list, y'all. I'm doing so much traveling this year with the Graveyard Shift. I've already talked to Stacy about it. We've been planning it out. Chaz has been putting together a schedule. So yeah, be on the road, man. This Thursday, we're in Minnesota. We shifted in Minnesota. Somebody said, please put out meeting location. And remember, a lot of the hotels are still dealing with damages prior to Hurricane. Uh, yeah, but I've, I've been to New Orleans a lot since then. I've been to New Orleans probably about three or four times the past 12 months. <laughs> it's cracking out there. It's a lot of hotels out there. It's a lot of it's a lot of stay out there. And the good thing about it, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing is going to be all in the same area. So I want it to be very walkable. When are you coming to Florida? Jessica, Florida is actually on the short list. Chaz and them sent me a packet today with a lot of Florida destinations. What, what part of Florida should I come to? Yeah, Chaz does a lot. Chaz needs a raise. She be in them emails. Chaz, Trish, Pam. Who am I missing? I forgot who I'm missing. It's off the tip of my tongue. They are doing great work. Great work, y'all. Great work. Keeping me organized and responding to your messages. Sonia, you on the PTO list? 
Ronnie, everybody. Brentwood, everybody, man, been chipping in. Spider Queen. Oh, I said Spider Queen's real name, y'all. <laughs> what about Spider Queen? I said her real name. <laughs> but yeah, Spider Queen, she helps out a lot. Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best. I'm gonna go. Oh, the Zoom meeting. Cinnamon cupcake. You are right. The old, so I'm ready. I got everything in line for the Zoom meeting. I just gotta pick the date. And the only thing about the date, everybody said the weekend was better for them. And it was just until the last weekend of in April, I'm gone every weekend. So it's probably gonna be like the last weekend in April, like the beginning of May, the first weekend in May, that we do our Zoom meeting. Betty, I appreciate you, love. Thank you for being here from the beginning. Tanika, I'm for sure I'm gonna come to Arkansas. So yeah, we're gonna do our Zoom meeting. I'm gonna send out a flyer that lets you know the link, the day, the time, and I'm gonna send it out to everybody. And we're gonna get on the Zoom. Y'all, it's probably gonna be a lot of people on the Zoom, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's probably gonna be a few hundred people. So please be respectful of everyone else. I remember one time we was on a Zoom and dude, my man had his pants off. Sir, you are on the Zoom in your drawers. <laughs> we can see your tighty whities sir. <laughs> Put some clothes on. Put Billy. Put Billy. Put Peter away. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. Did nobody get naked? But my man looked like he was he was naked from the from the neck down. Sir, are sir, are your breast out? <laughs> sir, do you have your breast out? <laughs> sir, I need you to put your breast up, sir. There are grown people and kids over here, sir. Put your breasts up. But yeah. So yeah, we gotta be respectful of everybody. And what we're gonna do is there's a function on Zoom where you can press a button and raise your hand, which lets me see you raising your hand. I'm then gonna click you in and we are gonna be talking face to face in front of everybody. So you can ask me whatever you wanna ask. We can talk about whatever you wanna talk about in your little few minute window. And yeah, man, I'm gonna try to get to as many people as we can. Why you wanna know what cemetery I'm at? Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Pokey don't discriminate, Gloria. Man, woman, child, old, young, baby, <laughs> dog, cat, rat. <laughs> Pokey don't discriminate. Joe, Joe talking about he'll be dangerous on a Zoom call. Joe, and that's why you not getting the link, Joe. Joe, that's why you not getting the link, Joe. <laughs> Chaz. Ronnie, Spider Queen, Brentwood, do not send Joe the link. <laughs> we got to watch Joe. <laughs> we might need special security for Joe. Pokey, you need, Pokey, I need you to look out for Joe. J O E, Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe is wild. You know what's going to be funny? Seeing everybody's face. Cause it'd be like, dang, you see everybody's screen name, <laughs> but you don't know what they look like. That's what's gonna be funny. Be like, Joe, you got a mullet? <laughs> Joe, you got a mullet with a ponytail on the side? No, Barbara, it's not too late. Uh, In the community tab, I believe I have the sign up sheet. So I have to post it again. I don't have the link for it. I don't know if one of our, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we can do that. How we can post it now. Who in there? Oh, Brentwood. And that's exactly why, yo, you finna get a raise, Brentwood. That's exactly why, Brentwood. I have just pinned the link to the Zoom call. Just go in and fill out that form. Give me your name, address. I mean, excuse me, your name, email address, and the city that you're in. That's all I need from you. That's all I need from you. Side note, I hear cats in my background. It's my fault. Krim, 
we are very we are very animal friendly we are very animal friendly okay what do we have here what do we have here amy says go to dawes arbitrary arbor arboretum <laughs> in heath heath ohio there's a very old graveyard there and i got fantastic pictures during the daytime hey where are the oldest graves in the country at i want to go there soon where's the oldest people buried in the united states is it somewhere up top billy i'm going to my p.o box probably tuesday I got to work all day tomorrow, man. So I might not be able to get to the P.O. Box tomorrow, but I'll get there Tuesday for sure. Because I got packages up there. They sent me an email. I got some packages up there. St. Augustine, Florida. Really? Is it Florida? What up, Kanunu? Kaniwa? Kaniwa? I don't know how to pronounce it, love. I don't even know if you might be a dude. I don't know how to pronounce it, love, dude. <laughs> Depending on what you may be. St. Augustine? Really? I thought it was somewhere like in Connecticut or like... New England up there, up north. I thought it was somewhere up there. Pennsylvania or something. Miss JoJo, I'm coming. I come to St. Augustine. That's on the list anyway. Is St. Augustine the oldest city in the United States? I don't believe that. <laughs> I sound like a flat earther. I don't believe that. Daily, there's proof and there's history. Something about that don't sit right with me. <laughs> I don't know about St. Augustine. Mm, sound a little fishy, don't it? <laughs> Y'all. I swear I did not know St. Augustine, Florida was the first city. I thought there was like 17 colonies or, or seven colonies or something. Naressa, I don't know, man. When the man get their foot off our neck, Jack. Nah, hopefully we come back soon with Ghost Brothers. We're investigating Waverly that's going to go on YouTube. That's uh, next week. That's next week. Google said 1565. No. How many pop quiz? How many colonies? Oh, Tara said there was 13 colonies. I said 17. We know I ain't pay attention to school. 13 colonies. Was Florida one of the 13 colonies? Lori said she got a video of angel wings. I would love to see it. Can you? I don't know how to pronounce your name. It says, I just found your channel a few hours ago. Glad I did. Miss seeing you and the rest of the cool. Man, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Come holler at us. We be kicking it out here all the time. So Florida was not a part of the 13 colonies, but it was the oldest incorporated city. I don't get it. Somebody lying. Somebody lying and you making me mad. Where's Pokey at? Where's Pokey? What'd I do with Pokey? I forgot that. Y'all making me mad, y'all. You're making me mad. And when I get mad, I get to poke it. See, the problem, the problem is y'all think pokey ain't sharp. Let me, let me give you a little, let me give you just a little, watch this. Y'all didn't even see it. I did it so fast. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Watch this. Look at that. Straight through. Straight through. You see that? You see that? You see how sharp Pokey is? It went straight through that Deer Park water bottle. I know it's a Deer Park. That's all I had. That's all I had on me. That's all I had on me. All right, y'all. You right, Tracy. Let me put Pokey down before I hurt myself. Let me, before I hurt myself, guys. I just wanted to show y'all how sharp Pokey was. 
Tracy says St. Augustine is the oldest continuously occupied settlement of European and African-American origin in the United States, 42 years before the English colonized. Somebody went to Wikipedia. Somebody was on Wikipedia. Sherry, I do. I have a strange obsession with Pokey. It makes me feel like a man. No, I'm just playing. It makes me feel outdoorsy. You know what it was? All the old school players used to carry pocket knives. <laughs> and I used to think it was so cool. Now I finally got one. Pokey is all fun and games until Pokey pokes you. <laughs> You're right. You are right. Tracy says, you are so funny. Thank you. Thank you. Pokey needs a partner, Sylvia. I need I need to be ambidextrous with, with my poking. Let me ask the spirit. There's a lot of spirits that was that passed away a long time ago. I, I guarantee you they'll tell you that they used to carry a pocket knife. Are there any spirits here? Quick question. Did anyone here used to carry a pocket knife? <laughs> What type of protection did you carry on a day to day? Did anybody here ever carry a knife? Kennedy. It feels good out here, guys. I really am just enjoying the weather. It's a cool breeze. I like just tapping in with y'all. Look at the clouds, the clouds are beautiful. The one Stephanie mentioned is a burial grounds of some of the pilgrims and some that came over from the Mayflower. Where is that at? Where is that at? Melissa, you know what, Melissa? I did not share your raps yet, Melissa. Uh, Dang, I wish I could, but I'm on my phone right now. I got you next time, Melissa, for sure. I got you next time, Melissa. I got you. What up, Donna? Stacy, thank you for clocking in, Stacy. I was just, I was just tiptoeing in to click in with y'all, man. I wanted to touch bases with everybody. Monica, I love talking with y'all. I have heard Beyonce song Texas Man. Christy said, get yourself some good water. Hold on, Christy. What is your beef with Deer Park? Deer Park water, it'll quench your thirst. Y'all, some people reached out to me for some sponsorships. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna do it, y'all. Cause I ain't trying to sell out to the man. But these people trying to give us a little luce. They're trying to give us a little luce. It's a company, it's, it's not an energy drink. It's like a natural, I don't know what it is, y'all. <laughs> Let me get up before I start lying. <laughs> but they sent me a pack and I've been taking them. It's supposed to like help your thinking. It's supposed to be like a replacement from like your caffeine or you can drink it in addition to, I don't know. I don't know. We gonna see. <laughs> I'll let y'all know if I get the jitters or not. If I don't get the jitters, I'll let y'all know what it is. <laughs> Somebody said what? Oh, I would love to talk to Billy the Kid for sure. Can't wait for the Ghost of the Roasted with Stacy. That's coming Wednesday. Don't put on the dress. What? Why would I put on the dress? <laughs> what they got to do with talking to ghosts? Right, Alma. Y'all sponsor us already, man. But the people, 
when, once your YouTube page gets to a certain amount of subscribers, like people be reaching out to you. Like people, I have been reached out to by a few different companies trying to do sponsorships. And I'm like, man, for what? Like, one was my heritage. They're kind of like ancestry.com. I was gonna do that one, but they just wanted me to do a lot. And I'm like, bro, that takes away from like the interaction with my people. Like if I'm gonna do a sponsorship, it's gonna be like, dang, this water good, y'all. Deer Park, the water of champions. They want me to make a whole video talking about, like, man, I ain't finna do all that. But if you ever see me in a video and I keep Deer Park, <laughs> be like, he must be, he must done got sponsored. Because Deer Park is, 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 is good water that will quench your soul. <laughs> Quench your soul. No, I'm just playing. Deer Park is disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> y'all, I love y'all. I did, duh. I did. I got up out of there, duh. I wasn't gonna let that man get me. Oh, Gandhi would be interesting. Doc Holiday, that's dope. Gotti, love it. George Reeve would be a good one to check out. Who's George Reeve? John Gotti. Did we do John? We did John Gotti, didn't we? No, we didn't. We did Al Capone. We didn't do John Gotti. <laughs> Joe said, Deer Park water. I promise you it's not toilet water. <laughs> Deer Park, I promise you it's not toilet water. <laughs> or Deer Park, I can't promise you it's not toilet water. Lisa Left Eye, she's on the thing. She's on the list. So is Elvis. Elvis is. I would love to talk to JFK. Chaz, there go Chaz. Chaz, everybody in the comment section says you needed a raise. I told them to shut their mouth. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Chaz does, y'all. I tell Chaz all the time. She'll tell you. I tell her all the time. Chaz deserves the world, y'all. She's been spearheading a lot of a lot of stuff. Kendrick Johnson is on the list. That girl, that girl Leah. I was supposed to do Kendrick the other day, but I didn't realize it was that far from Atlanta. It's like four. He's like four hours from Atlanta. I thought it was more so like an hour. It's four hours, so I got to make that a day trip. But I'm gonna go to Kendrick. Wait. And then I'm going to go to, uh, I think, Tallahassee. John Lennon would be dope. Rick James, Tina Turner, Kobe Bryant, Emmett Till. Emmett Till would be crazy. John Candy, Prince or Ch Chadwick B. I would love to do Chadwick. He's my favorite actor in the whole wide world. Yeah, we can do a cremation. Cremate. We need to find somebody that got some ashes. Maybe we'll do a PTO session with somebody who has the remains, the ashes of their loved one. People already done jumped on OJ. I don't know how, how do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel? Y'all think people be just like chasing views? We not knocking nobody else, but like people already done jumped on OJ. OJ ain't been dead 36 hours. And I done seen at least five different OJ Spirit Box sessions. I don't think people talking to OJ that fast, y'all. I've already seen five OJ Spirit Box sessions. When I come to Illinois, go to Peoria to Richard Pryor. Oh, I was wait. His grandmama's brothel. What you trying to get? You trying to get me in trouble with my wife? You trying to get me in trouble with my wife? You trying to get me poked with pokey? You trying to get me poked with pokey? Nicole Brown. Yep. 
people have asked Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman for sure. But I said that about OJ. I just feel like it's way too soon for people to be claiming they talking to him. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they did talk to OJ. I don't know. I don't know. He ain't on my short list right now. <laughs> like, I ain't in no rush to try to talk to OJ. OJ probably got a lot to... He probably, he probably got a lot going on right now. <laughs> he probably trying to figure out a lot of stuff right now. Like, nah, OJ, <laughs> bring your ass down here, my boy. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I don't know. I don't know where OJ went, y'all. Let me be quiet. It's Pokey. Pokey, stop, Pokey. Stop. <laughs> I don't know where OJ went. I, I don't know what that man did or did not do. But I am saying we all saw the same trial. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, baby. <laughs> I was 10. I was 10 when it happened. I never forget. I was at school, and when the verdict came out, all the teachers had all the the the, uh, the uh, TVs on the trial, and we were switching classes when the verdict came out. And like, I just remember all the teachers just being pissed, pissed. Yeah, shit's crazy. Prince would be cool. Everybody keeps saying meatloaf. I would love. Ooh. Y'all know who I would love to do? Uh, dang. Buddy that played Capote. Capote. <laughs> Capote. Who played Capote? Capote. What's, what's that man's name? What's Buddy's name, man? Uh, ah, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? The actor. He ended up taking his own life. Philip Seymour Hoffman. That's exactly who I would love to talk to. Philip Seymour Hoffman. He was an amazing actor. Him and Robin Williams. Maybe we can try to talk to him and Robin Williams. Both of them ended their life way too short. It would be interesting just to kind of just talk to them, man, and see what they, I don't know, just what was going on during that time. Like, both of them were like two super, super talented people that were gone way too soon. Way too soon. Okay, we got to find out where they're buried at. Philip Seymour Hoffman and Robin Williams. Let's add them, Chaz. If you if you own here, Chaz, let's add them to the very, very short list. Oh, Betty White would be a good one, too. I know she would come through if she could. She would just worked in the biz way too long. Like, the camera cut on with Betty White, I think she cuts on. Tina said Prince was your idol. How is Prince buried, y'all? I've never, I don't know what Prince's grave looks like. Am I able to get close to it? Kurt Cobain would be would be an interesting one too. Are you able to get close to uh Prince's grave? Like is it or is it something where it's like in a big mausoleum closed up and you can't get to it? Oh, uh, Joel said Robin Williams had the same disease that your brother does. Uh, I hate to hear that. Yeah, such brutal murders run in the cold. Yeah, they definitely didn't deserve that. And run, my man was just trying to return some sunglasses. God dang, Buddy wasn't even trying to do nothing. That's what sucks about that. Buddy wasn't even involved. Well, maybe he was. I don't know if he was messing around with her or not. But from what I heard or read, she left her sunglasses and he was just bringing them back. Maybe he was doing more than that, but still, he wasn't thinking about that. I know he wasn't thinking about that. Golly. So Prince is in a private ma mausoleum? Dang. Dang. Both of them was cremated? Robin Williams and Philip Seymour Hopper was cremated? Well, there goes that. I just don't think, I don't know. I don't think that we can. I don't, I don't know. Do you feel like y'all, that? let me ask y'all this. Do y'all feel like we could just sit in the car in this cemetery and try to talk to Philip Seymour Hoffman? 
the, does it work that way? Because I be seeing people do spirit box. Y'all, let me put Pokey down. Poke. I like the way she, I like the way he feel. Is it a is Pokey a man or a girl? Is Pokey a boy or a girl? Y'all let me know if y'all think Pokey is a man or a woman. But I see people doing spirit box sessions from wherever they do it from, and they talk to all these different celebrities. Somebody said Pokey's a boy. <laughs> Pokey's a boy. I'm a boy, Dalen. Pokey is a man. <laughs> all right. My boy Pokey. But I'd just be wondering, man, like how accurate do these spirit box sessions? But then again, I tried talking to my best friend that passed away from the car. He died in California and I was in Atlanta and I felt like he came through. Maybe we will try to do a session with someone like Robin Williams or Philip Seymour Hoffman, but we'll do it from the car and we'll just see what happens. Let's try that. Let's try that this week. Let's try that this week. We just gonna see what happens. We gonna try one of them two, or maybe both. We'll see if we can get both of them to come through. That would be crazy if, if, if they did. That would be crazy. Elizabeth, hi, Dalen, and all the shifters just clocking in from Maystag, Bridgen, South Wales, UK. That's a long name. <laughs> y'all, it's getting dark. It's getting dark, y'all. I'm finna get up out of here, man. I'm finna get up out of here. Thank y'all for, uh, we've been out here an hour? Golly. Thank y'all for tuning in with me. We got a lot of shifting coming this week. So stay tuned. And remember, stay on me about New Orleans. Stay on me about New Orleans. Stay on me. Love, love, love. Catch y'all tomorrow.